Hey guys, so I wanted to show you a good case of a perilunate dislocation. Perilunate dislocations usually result in a dorsal displacement of the capitate. So this is a dorsal perilunate dislocation on the left. This is a patient with a motorcycle accident. And then on the right, the same patient had a lunate dislocation in which you see the lunate displaced anteriorly and you also see the scaphoid been displaced. Let me show you here. So that's the luna here and that's the scaphoid. And notice that they're displaced anteriorly. The most common injuries in, in high velocity are either lunate or prelunate dislocation. And the trick for this is seeing if the luna is articulating with the radius. Let's go back to our other one. And you see on this one, the luna is still, the luna is this bone right here, it still articulates with the radius. So this one and you see the radius here. So this one is perilunate dislocation because the articulation is somewhat intact. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's somewhat intact. 